I mean, we're all addicted to our phones. So, you know, we have our smartphones on us all the time. Where do you leave your phone at at night? Um, in my hand as I cuddle it with it. <laughs> I mean, this is what a lot of people deal with, right? They, their phone is the last thing they see when they go to bed at night yeah. and the first thing they see when they wake up in the morning. So one thing that you could do is just move your phone to a different place to charge it. So you could charge in the bathroom, for example, set your alarm there. And then the only goal here is just to reduce the amount of time that you're going to mindlessly browse while you're laying in bed. And so, uh, for example, if you look on my phone, I've tried to reduce some of the cues so that I have no apps You've on the home no screen, cues, yeah. right? Um, and the goal here is just to increase the friction a little bit. So I can still go to Instagram, for example, and swipe over, and then it's inside this nested folder. Mm -hmm. But I just don't want to do it mindlessly. Um, and so the whole idea with habits is to try to increase the amount of friction that are associated with bad habits to put more steps between you and the bad behaviors and fewer steps between you. The most effective form of motivation, which is progress. And so if you can see yourself getting these small wins, then you have a reason to continue working.